On the whole, 2013 started out on a pretty mild note for most of the UK, but even now we're starting to see a change to uh, colder conditions. And over the next few days, through the weekend and into the early part of next week, we're going to feel that cold weather more widely. Um, and if we look at the chart here, we can see the reason behind that. And out over parts of Europe and Scandinavia, there's quite a lot of cold air. And that's going to start making progress westwards over the next couple of days. At the same time, though, we've also got an area of low pressure out to the west, which is going to start to edge in from the west. And when those two bump together, we're likely to see uh, outbreaks of rain tied in with that low pressure starting to turn increasingly to sleet and snow, uh, particularly probably across parts of the West Midlands and, and perhaps parts of East Wales as well. And this is through the course of Saturday. So on Saturday, uh, a cloudy day across most of the south of the UK in particular. Some rain also turning to sleet and snow, uh, particularly as it starts to clear southwards later on on Saturday. So uh, colder conditions generally across the whole of the country and also uh, a risk perhaps of uh, accumulations of snow into the West Midlands of uh, say up to two to five centimetres in a few places and perhaps uh, a bit more than that over the hills of parts of East Wales. And as I said, that clears away on Saturday uh, evening, away southwards. And at the same time, we'll probably start to see temperatures dropping quite sharply behind. Uh, and then we see an ice risk on Saturday night on any untreated surfaces. So some potential for travel disruption over the course of Saturday and into Sunday. Beyond that, uh, looking away to the northeast, we also start to see uh, that colder air making even more inroads uh, th during the second part of the weekend. And during that period, we'll see snow showers feeding into northeastern parts of the UK, probably particularly northeast England, uh, Saturday into Sunday. So parts of northeast England on Sunday may well see a covering of snow. And some hillier parts of, say, uh, North York Moors, for example, may well see five, perhaps ten centimetres in a few places. As, as is always the case with showers though, there'll be pretty variable amounts of snow. But again, uh, through the weekend it's well worth keeping an eye on the latest weather forecast because obviously there is the potential for some travel disruption. As it stands at the moment, we've issued uh, yellow alerts for uh, snow in the northeast on uh, Sunday and also for some, the risk of ice across some southern areas on Saturday night. Into the early part of next week, it stays probably on the cold side, it stays probably on the unsettled side too. So other areas may well see uh, some sleet and snow as we go into the early part of next week. But keep an eye on the latest forecast. We will keep it up to date on the website and say there is a bit of uncertainty at this stage, but uh, well worth keeping an eye out for the latest weather.